Hi and welcome to today's tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this hand sanitizer holder. Um, so of course quite applicable at the moment. Um, a lot of key workers have to be continuously sanitizing the hands. Also for us when we're out and about shopping, um, getting in and out of our cars, we can put it on a handy keychain so it's always um, at our side and available. Thank you very much for subscribing to my channel if you do so. Um, if you don't, you can hit the subscription button below and click the notification bell next to it. If you click all, it just means you'll be notified every time I upload a tutorial. Um, so for this tutorial, you will need your selected yarn. I'm using a cotton, just a DK cotton for this. With projects like this, I prefer to use a cotton as I find them a bit more durable. I'll pop a link in the description box with my recommendations. Um, your keychain, again, I'll pop a link in the bo description box as to where you can get them. I think they're like three pounds something for 20. If you've not got a keychain, don't worry, you can just use the loop and chain round it. That's not a problem at all. Um, you will need a button, darning needle, your scissors. I'm and using for this my four millimeter crochet hook, but you can use um, any size. I'd recommend going off what the yarn recommends or maybe down to a three and a half millimeter. So in this tutorial, I'm going to do it a little bit different than I normally do. So instead of including a link to a pattern, I'm actually going to show you how I've done it so you can understand the working of it. Uh, two reasons for that. The main reason is this hand gel. Um, I've always got it and it's in, I actually get it from Aldi and it's like a slim, um, a much slimmer bottle. Now, because obviously of the current pandemic, um, it's difficult to get hold of these. I know a lot of people um, are using travel sized, um, you know, the little travel bottles that you can buy and they're just filling those up uh, from a big hand gel bottle, which is a good idea. Um, but I've noticed looking around the shops, there's lots of different sizes of these. Um, and for me to cover off the pattern for all of them would be uh, tricky. So I thought rather I will show you how I've done it. So hopefully you can do the same with whatever size you have. Let me know how that goes in the comments, whether you enjoy it, whether it's easy to understand. So let's begin. So to start with, I just started with a slip knot. And then your chain length, what you want to do is chain wide enough to fit around the top nozzle of your bottle. So we're starting with that bit here. That's where we're starting. So it's a bit of guesstimate work. So I'm just chaining up a few chains here. No, not quite. Probably quite a few more. My hands are quite shaky today. I'm absolutely boiling. Right. Probably another two. One and two. So if you can see where I've chained now, that's probably a perfect fit. Um, go on the bigger size if you're in between a couple of chains rather than the smaller size because we're going to form a loop and work around it. So once you've got the chain length that fits around the bottle, you just need to slip stitch to the very first chain. So insert your hook. And slip stitch. It's the only thing with cotton, it does separate quite easy, doesn't it? And then I'm just going to test it again. So yeah, that fits perfectly. So now what I'm going to do is chain three and that'll act as our first treble crochet. And that's a treble crochet in the UK. In the US, it's a double crochet. So I've chained three. I'm now going to work around this 
um, this circle and again with this depending on the size of your chain will determine how many treble crochets you do I'm going to stick to an even number and this first chain three counts as one so for me I'm going to do two three and I'm just going to keep working around and I'll show you how I want it to look want it to look so if you continue to work around I'll pause the um, if you pause the video and I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished right so so far including the chain three I've actually done 22 as you can see there's still a space left here but these are quite ruched up so they're quite chunk, um, clumped together these stitches so if I just work them around that initial chain we did for me I think that's plenty we don't want it to be too crowded so once you've got to the correct size for you and your bottle um, we just need to slip stitch to the top of the chain three okay so next what we want to do is if you've got a rectangular shaped um, bottle like myself if you can see here the stitches are coming quite far down here but not here and that's because of course the shape of it um, so what we're going to do now is do some treble crochets double crochet in the UK uh, US rather here and just some double crochets or single in the US here to bring it all to one level so I'll show you that here if you can see I've got some double crochets there and some trebles there and that just brings it all to the same um, the same height if you will if you are using a circular bottle which I believe a lot of the travel bottles are you don't need to do that you can just work now straight into trebles because your your work will actually be um, all the same all the same length or all the same height um, so just hold it here if you are using a circular bottle and move on to the next part with me but if you're using a rectangular bottle then stay watching for this part so basically what I'm looking at now is at the side of the at each side approximately how many treble crochets are at each side so as you can see there's one there two three four so basically four on each size side now I did 22 in total uh, so this is where the maths comes in so this is where the maths comes in as I said um, so I've got 22 stitches in total around there and I want four treble crochets at each end for the sides and then I want the remainder to be the double crochets so uh, 8 of 22 that will leave us with 14 stitches to complete and half of 14 is 7 so that means I'm going to work 4 treble crochets then 7 double crochets then another 4 trebles and then finish with the 7 okay so because we're working in trebles I'm going to chain three first one two three and that counts as our first treble so sorry yeah that's right so that counts as our very first treble so we've just got three more to do for one of the sides so just to point out we now this belongs to this stitch so our next stitch is here so don't work into the base of the chain three because that already counts as a treble so that's one two three 
three and four. So now we need to do seven double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we've done round the side of one. Now we need to do um, another four treble crochets. So one, two, three, and four. And then to finish, we should have seven double crochets to do here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and the last stitch there, seven. So we'll now slip stitch to the top of the chain three. One, two, three. And we'll try it on for size. So that's where the trebles are at either side. So can you see now it's actually even all the way around. And we've done that just by using different sizes of stitches. Okay, so now for the next few rounds, we're just going to work up to here by going all around using treble crochets. So if you're using a cylinder shape or a cylinder shape uh, bottle, you, can, you, you would have missed that bit because you're all at the same length. You'll just continue now. So for each round, basically, start by chaining three. One, two, three. Don't go into there because this chain three acts as our first treble crochet. So that's that stitch done. This is our next stitch that we're working into. So we'll just put one treble crochet into each stitch all around. So I'll just show you again what the end of the round looks like. So here, if you can see, that's my chain three from earlier. It's a bit bent over. Um, but I've got one stitch here left to work. Just done that one. So if you can see, I'm just going to do this one. And that's it. So of course I had 22 stitches, so that's my 22 done. So at the end of each round, you'll then slip stitch to the top of the chain three, and then chain three to do another round. And you just need to keep popping it back on to see how many more rounds you need to do. And I can see here, I probably only need one more round. I think on this one I did two and I felt it was a little bit baggy. So on this one, I'm going to try just doing the one extra and see how that turns out. So if you'd like to work to the bottom, to the base of your bottle by doing one treble in each stitch all the way around, pause the video and I'll meet you back to do this last bit. Right, so I've just finished. I did actually do the two extra rows. Um, and I've got to the desired um, length. So what we need to do now is the flap. So this bit here. So to do that, if you remember when we did the round of the treble crochets to bring us to the height, the trebles and the doubles, we started by doing, or I started, I did four treble crochets, seven double, four treble. So Basically, so the flap sits at the right side, we now need to slip stitch across by four stitches. So my first stitch is here, so that's one. So I'll slip stitch two, slip stitch three, slip stitch four. Let me see if I can show you on here. 
So here, yes, where we've got the treble crochets, if we just start to do the flap from there, from that point, our flap's going to be at the wrong angle. So that's why we do this bit. Okay. So I'm on the fourth stitch, so this is the fifth. So I'm going to chain three, one, two, three, and that's our very first treble. And then because I had seven to do the side bit, I need seven in total for the flap. So that's my first one. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so that's the start of the flap. So now you just want to chain three and turn your work and work back along. So again, that chain three belongs to the base of that stitch. So we're not gonna put one in there. This is our second, third, fourth, And your very last one will be into the top of the chain three. So make sure you don't miss that. That's a common place to miss it. Okay. So that's my seven. So as you can see, the flap is now starting to come along. Now, all you're going to do is repeat that until you've got to the desired length of your flap. Um... At this point, depending on the size of your button as well, bear in mind that it needs to be able to fasten, if you will. So depending how many rows you want to do, just take that into account as well. But if you go ahead and obviously it needs to fit over as well. So that would be falling far too short at the moment. So if you go ahead and continue working these rows until you've got to the desired length and I shall meet you back here. Right, so I've just completed mine and I've just worked one, two, three, four rows and tested it. Apologies for the background noise, next door's having an extension. Um, the joys of working from home, I'm, I suppose. You've probably heard the budgie in the background as well. Um, I am investing in a microphone soon so the sound quality will be better for you so just bear with me on that guys um right so that's that completed it's a bit gappy there i could have perhaps done another one either side i could frog it and do another one either side or i could just leave it it's entirely up to you um it's your your work this one is quite baggy as well. I could have perhaps done less stitches initially. It's all very much trial and error when you're designing something. Um, I just really, really hope this is helping you with um, understanding. So anyway, to move on to the next step, you can just tie off here and leave it like that, which I did on this one. Or to make this a bit sturdier, you can slip stitch all the way around your work. So to do that, I'm going to put two into that gap actually I'll put three with it being a corner and then here checking you can see me on camera I'll slip stitch Oop. in between the trebles I'll put two one and two one there in between the trebles again i'll put two one and two so i've just got to the end there so i'll go straight into the top of the stitch here
it's the only thing with cotton it's all ready isn't it so I'm just going to slip stitch into each stitch around here so I'll be slip stitching all around there and then all back up here to here where I started so if you're going to add this section and um, do that now and um, when once it's done I'll show you the difference between that and this one so I'm just getting to the end where my very first slip stitch was so I'm just going to slip stitch to that first slip stitch and finally pull up a loop and tie off my work okay so if you can see now the flap is in line you can see I can't even see there it's in line with those double crochets we did earlier okay so now all that's left is to pop our button on so I'm going to sew mine on with a normal needle and thread because my dining needle won't fit through there. So I'll just position it and then work through the stitches to, to, to fasten that on. So I've fastened the button on. Um, oh, the difference in the... Um, so we can see this is... It's hard to show on film, but it's a bit floppy. The slip stitches you do, it just gives it more strength and tightens it up um sorry about that so there you go your button will just slot into one of the gaps in the in there so that's ready for them to use quite easy for the top for this section i've just chained five and then all I'm going to do is tie that between two loops there and sew in the ends on the inside and attach my keychain and that's it, it's done. So a perfect gift um, for people that need them. You, if you um, crochet to sell items, it's a perfect item to sell. As I say, um, with these being so snapped up so quickly at the moment it's a good idea to just keep one bottle or if you advise people if they just keep that bottle when it's empty and top it up from a bigger bottle they've always got the little holder um for guys they can pop it on the keychains as they don't tend to have handbags purses do they women they can pop it on the purse so it's always handy um, let me know what you think and I'd love to hear what you think about this style of tutorial where I talk through the thought process of the design rather than a specific pattern. If it's something you like, I'll do more of that style. Uh, come and join me on my social media on Facebook and Instagram. I would absolutely love nothing more than to see your makes and how you've got on. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye bye.